Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to look at Keynote and how to make a presentation look just a little bit better or set it apart from some of the other people's presentations and let your audience be a little bit captivated by the motion backgrounds. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and hit play and take a note of the flame in the candle as it's moving when the text is coming in. I'm going to hit play now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Look at the flame as it's going and you can see the flame is still moving as my text is coming in. The background is still moving but my text is also coming in there on top of a layer and you can see that it gives it just a little bit of an edge to your presentation. So you can see that the flame is kind of flickering here. Let's go ahead and take a look at how I did that. First of all I need to go to my browser and I need to thank the people over at IgniteMotion.com Let's go ahead and look at their home page here. On their home page they have some free video backgrounds or motion backgrounds here that they have, different ones that you can download. They have the HD version. Now let's look at their terms of use here. Click on the terms of use and it says that you can use the content for commercial and private use free of charge. Now the only thing that they don't want you to do is distribute their work. So you can't download these and then give these to your friends or put them on a website so that the people are downloading them from you. You do have to give credit to these Ignite Motion people and I thank them for giving us some free quality free motion backgrounds. Let's go ahead and go back to my keynote presentation now. now let's go ahead and take a look at how I did this. This is the animation sequence that I use to be able to get the text to come in. I'm going to create a new slide here from a master. I'm going to make sure that it's on blank slide here and then I'm going to create a new slide and I'm going to show you how this is done. You have a blank background here and what we're going to do is find wherever you downloaded your motion backgrounds. I put mine on movies under motion backgrounds and you can see that I have some different ones here. I'm go ahead and grab a different one and drag it on top and that's really all you have to do here is put your motion background onto your slide and then if you want to preview this you can hit play and you can see here that it's just moving and it's giving it now this one's just a little bit distracting so I didn't want to use this one necessarily and maybe unless you're using a newscast or something the other thing you'll notice is that it stopped at the end of the movement once we have this selected in order to get this to loop you go and hit the quick time icon right here under the inspector and what we do is on the repeat we select loop back and forth and what that'll do is it'll give it a seamless edge when we're playing it let me play it one more time here and as you can see what it's going to do is it's just going to loop back and forth and back and forth and then you can put some text on top of that let's go ahead and hit the escape key so what I normally do is after I've got my motion background here I go to this little yellow build inspector right here and then I go to more options so that I can see my build order then I'm gonna add some text in here so I can click my text box and I can type in here a series of words one and then I can add another text box A series of words too. I'm going to add one more text box so you can get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. A series, and I can't spell, series of words three. Now what we want to do is we want to animate these. So I'm going to click on here and we're going to need some sort of an effect so it doesn't really matter if I want to use the cheesy bouncy effect here you can see that they're bouncing in here use this bouncy effect left to right and then I'm going to start the build automatically after my transition here so you can see that that's just going to come in right after my transition when the um, the motion background starts the next thing I need to do is I need to have a build out if I wanted to get rid of these words so I'm going to go to build out and I'm just going to make this disappear and I'm going to make it disappear after build one and I'm going to give it about a three second delay here so that they 
stay on the screen for about three seconds. The next thing I need to do is go down here to a series of words too. I need to give it a build in. I'm going to do the bouncy again just for the fun of it. This one I have to do automatically with build 2. I want it with, not after, but with build 2 here. And I'm going to give this about a 3 second delay as well. And then I need a build out, of course, and I'm going to put that in disappear. Do that after build 3, and once again, maybe a 3 second delay. And then, of course, the third series of this, build in, bouncy, we want automatic with build 4 with about a 3 second delay and then we want a build out of disappear. Well I'm not going to put the build out in here. Now if you want these to appear right on top of each other Keynote has this unique guide set where these yellow guidelines show up. So if I want to put this directly in the middle you can see that that's directly the middle because the yellow lines appeared. So I'm going to grab this one. If I want to put it right on top, there it is. That's going to be right on top. And then drag number three, and that will be right on top there. So when we play this, and I hit play here, you can see that the background is moving. But we also have the text coming in, and then it's going to disappear. And then the second set of text is going to come in. And you notice the background is still moving. And then that set of text is going to disappear. And last but not least, we have the third set of text come in. And there we go. A series of words three. So that's pretty much how we can make a presentation, give it a little bit of an edge, set it a little bit apart. Now you don't want to have these too distracting. I like to use this one right here. Let me click the one with the uh, Christmas light here because you notice that the flicker, the way it works is it's not that distracting. Some people will catch the flicker down at the bottom moving and they'll think, wow, that's kind of cool. Hopefully you'll be able to use this tip and trick on your presentations to give it a little bit of a pow, a little bit of a wow factor in your presentation. I'm using Keynote 09. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a couple thumbs up, and I'll try to get back to your comments when I can. This is Chucky. Cheers.